My aim after surgery is to deliver cold to the site as well as some compression. And with the PhysioLab device, it can offer both. The, there are other devices out there of a similar type of uh, compression, similar coal, but the reason that I'm more into the physio lab device is because it is very robust and also we can transport it from one place to another easily. Um, it is a, a, a closed system within the, um, the, the cuffs itself and it gives a really good constant pressure and it will give a good feedback on the monitoring so we know what sort of pressure, what sort of temperature we've we been delivering to the patient and uh, we can monitor that very easily. Currently, uh, I use PhysioLab device on post-operative patient, uh, especially on knee replacement, revision knee surgery, high tibia osteotomy, ACL reconstruction, as well as cell therapies. So within those uh, surgery, there will be a lot of trauma going around the knee and with the coolant and the compression, it really reduces that swelling a lot. At the same time, it will also reduce the pain. Opiate is a very powerful pain killer. However, it is very addictive. Uh, and also it makes the patient feel uh, very, doesn't make them feel very well. And at the same time, if the patient don't feel very well, they feel sick, they will not want to get up and do the exercise and do the rehabilitation. So after surgery, uh, if we can use less opiate, it will have happier patient because they don't feel as sick. You will have happier staff because they don't have to keep getting cold to administer the, um, the painkillers. And then you will have better, you know, physiotherapy be happier, be able to do their job, they're able to mobilize that joint. And ultimately the, uh, the patient will benefit uh, because they will be able to get themselves discharged quicker if the, if the wound is no longer painful, uh, if they're able to you know, fun function, if they're able to walk up and down the stairs. Within all those, the journey of patients that stay in hospital probably becomes shortened. So of course it's beneficial to well, the patient, the surgeon, as well as uh, you know, the hospital. So after surgery, when I use the um, physio lab on some of my patients, especially on the knees, uh, it really reduces swelling, reduces the edema. Um, I would say at least 50 to 80%. And that effect is very, very apparent. Um, Physio usually the next day I get a phone call from the physiotherapy and they say, wow, this knee doesn't swell and um, you know, we can actually really work on it. And I think that is the very big features on how it can actually reduce the swelling and reduce edema. Anecdotally, we had two patients that you know, was trying on this uh, with the S1. Uh, one of them didn't want it to start off in the beginning. The other one you know, had, had a go at the, at the very beginning. And overnight, the result is very apparent. The patient that with the S1 did not ask for any painkiller at all, didn't have any opiate painkillers. So, but on the other side, a uh, patient asked for painkillers a few times. They have used the, uh, uh, the patient control PCA, the patient control administration machine to have morphine. And then the next morning, uh, the other patient asked for the machine. And then since then, he stopped using his painkillers. So to me, anecdotally, I think you know, the effect is huge.